Welcome back to another T3 Thursday's Tactical Tip. So again, we're at a Zia Rifle and Pistol Club in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And Yoki, what if we're attacked by more than one person? What can we do to train for that? It's a very good point. There's a story just in the news last couple of days where a grandfather had to fight off and end up shooting three home invaders. It happens. It may not happen a lot, but it's something we still need to train for. And there are some really good and fun drills that we can do to train for that. Now, anytime you're doing any of these drills, you're going to want to remember a couple of things. You don't want to be stationary, and you want to engage the threat that scares you most first. I can't tell you what that threat is. Are you more scared of the guy with the shotgun, who is 25 feet away, or the guy with the knife, who is 5 feet away? You have to answer that. I know which one I'm more scared of, but you have to decide which one you're most scared of. That is the person you're going to engage first. Some of the guidelines for this. Engage the scariest threat first. Engage two rounds on that threat and then transition to your next threat. Engage two rounds on the next threat and then move back to the first. It may seem like I'm moving a lot during this. The point is, if I engage here, the rounds don't have its desired effect. This person is probably going to be ducking, moving, rethinking the situation. I want to make the next attacker, if the need be, have to think as well. So let's play with this for a minute. So on the command of gun, I'm going to draw. I'm going. You're going to see slight movement as I draw and as I engage. The shooter ready? Ready. Gun. I engage my first target with two shots. Transition to my second target. Deliver two shots. Check my first target again. In this scenario, my target was down. Looked back at my second. Target is down. At which point, I would pull into a tight retention position. Check to make sure that they don't have any buddies who are unhappy with how I just dealt with their friends. And then, if need be, holster, leave the area, and call the police. Why don't you give it a try? Alright, so you're going to deliver two shots to the target that scares you most. I'll let you choose which one that is. Transition to the next, two shots. If you want, you can then go back to your first target and deliver a single headshot. Okay? Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Go! Alright. Good. Shots are a little bit low on your first target. Good shot placement on your second. Let's do this drill one more time. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Gun! Training for multiple attackers is a very important aspect of firearms training. Make sure you have a safe area to do it in. Set the targets up three to five feet apart and then you can continue to practice engaging engaging in different orders engage as you step back engage as you advance on the target whatever the case may be main thing start off slow enough to be safe and then speed up as you get more confident comfortable and accurate with your shots so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like and share it and you can always subscribe by clicking on the bullet and until next time, take care and be safe.